What's up Fortnite fam? I'm Matt, and there's another Fortnite update, which means I'm here to break down everything you need to know as fast as possible. First up, let's go over the brief patch notes Epic Games posted on Twitter before the update went live. A new LTM will be joining the game this patch, and it's all about the Mandalorian. Mando's bounty will be playable in solos, duos, trios, and squads, and it's all about staying ahead of the best bounty hunter the world has ever seen. You'll be challenging other players to see who can score credits the fastest by taking out bounty targets and specially marked hunters for high tier loot. Eventually, the Mando himself will enter the match, immediately on the hunt for the player with the most credits. Each player will have three lives in total, meaning you'll get more than one chance to collect those galactic credits. You can get to the top, but can you stay there? If you can, you'll get a shiny new Beskar umbrella. You've got until February 9th to find out. Want to know exactly how you can walk away with a new umbrella or much more in a tournament? Well then, you should head on over to ProGuides.com, where we have all sorts of courses and some top tier coaches to get your skills up to scratch. Alongside this new LTM will be a cool Star Wars themed point of interest, codenamed Watering Hole in the Files. This new POI will be situated on the sandy hill behind the Butter Barn. It's basically a Star Wars themed cantina and there's a whole bunch of new chess spawns within it. Could this end up becoming a good drop location? Only time will tell. Next up are the new exotic weapons that are being added to the game. There are going to be two new weapons in total. There's the Burst Quad Launcher. This explosive weapon will do 42 damage to a player per shot, but each time you press the trigger, you'll be firing off a rapid burst of two rockets at a time. It'll be sold by Fishstick, who you can find at Coral Castle or Craggy Cliffs. Second, there's the Chug Cannon, which is probably going to work just like the old Bandage Bazooka, but with Chug Splashes. You'll be able to purchase the Chug Cannon from Remedy, who will sometimes spawn in the Hilltop House near Pleasant or near Craggy Cliffs. Okay, I know what you're all saying in the comments even before I look at them. Where's Keith Allen? Yeah, I know, I know, Keith's great. But here's the thing, Keith's getting ready for something huge. A story like we've never done before. His story. You want to see that video? Well, you'll need to get us to a million subscribers. The last thing Epic mentioned themselves was that some new options and devices will be added to creative mode. There are new things like an end game device, a player checkpoint, and a costume phone booth, as well as a bunch of new settings from custom victory and defeat signs to starting games without a pickaxe. Basically, if you're a fan of creative mode and map building, there's definitely some new interesting tools for you to play around with that should make your map builds a little bit more interesting. Something that we've all been waiting for has finally happened in this patch. The superhero skins have been adjusted, meaning that pesky all black super suit should no longer be plaguing our competitive matches by sneaking around in the corners. Are you unhappy about the changes? Well, you can now refund the skin for free too. On the subjects of cosmetics, there have been a bunch that have been added to the game in the patch, and since Valentine's Day is just a couple of weeks away, it should come as no surprise that the theme this time is Valentine's. As for the skins, we've got the Cuddle King and Lovely. Both of these skins have also been added to the map as NPCs with their own quests. For harvesting tools, we've got the Love Struck Strikes and the Breathless Blades. For backblings, there's the Stuffy Sack and Heart Blast. For the gliders, we've got the Dauntless Dragon and of course the Beskar Umbrella that can be earned by winning the new Mando LTM. Finally, the wraps. We've got the Heart's Desire, Shuffly Shapes, Optimistic, and Galactic Spiral. Along with all the skins that we can actually see by looking through the files, there are two new encrypted sets that have also been added to the game. These are just code names, so they might not have anything to do with what the skins actually end up being. Either way, there's Guest Fiction and Animal Clock, which has led some to think that there may be a Five Nights at Freddy's crossover on the way. Okay, Fortnite fam, that's everything we're getting in today's update. It was another pretty small one, to be honest. But hey, at least there's a new point of interest on the map now, right? Also, rumour has it that update 15.50 has already been added to the dev servers, which means we could be seeing 15.40 as soon as next week. Well, whenever the next update comes, I'll be there to break it down. See you in the next one.